So, hi, uh, I'm here to talk about uh, screen sharing in web browsers, basically in general. I, uh, the title says like uh, sharing in online meetings because I picked this title uh, because we had pandemic and like online meetings uh, is like uh, the most common, it's probably the most uh, common use case these days. And I want to give like uh, an overview uh, about the work uh, I uh, did uh, like over the past year basically and what are uh, the plans for the future. So I would say it's all started with uh, Fedora Workstation moving to Wayland by default. And because I originally did some screen sharing support in KD, I was kindly asked to look into screen sharing support in web browsers because uh, when Fedora switched to Wayland, uh, screen sharing uh, in browsers didn't work obviously because Wayland has all these uh, limitations. So it started around the uh, year uh, 2018 uh, when I started looking into uh, bringing uh, screen sharing support on Wayland into WebRTC. If you don't know what is WebRTC, it's basically the um, main media library for all the browsers. So it's used by Chromium, uh, Firefox. Uh, bringing this support into WebRTC makes it uh, enabled in Electron and basically everywhere. So I managed to land uh, first initial support of screen sharing for Wayland in uh, at the beginning of 2019, uh, this was like the previous version of Piper, uh, Piper 0 0.2. Uh, this was like like the first version of Piper like we used, and it was not production ready. The API was slightly different, but it worked. So we landed it. Uh, it was released in uh, uh, Chromium, probably in version 72. The versions might not be. Uh, precise because I was like searching for good git history and trying to guess uh, what Chromium release was after that. And same goes for Firefox. Uh, uh, like this initial support was released in Firefox uh, 67. Then over the past few years, we had like few uh, major impro improvements. So first major improvements uh, in 2020 uh, was Finally, PyPar 0 0.3. Uh, PyPar 0 0.3 is the now like the PyPar you know and love. Uh, it's it's per slowly replacing Pulse Audio and uh, becoming like main thing. And we brought support for window sharing because originally uh, you could with, like with the initial code you could only share a screen. So with uh, this. Uh, uh, we could share also like uh, only application windows. Again, this was released uh, probably in Chromium 89 and Firefox 85. Another uh, major improvement was uh, last year that was uh, DMA buffer support. Basically, DMA buffer allows you to make the screen sharing more performant because we don't need to do all the like. Uh, we don't need uh, the compositor, which gives us the screen content, doesn't need to copy the screen content into PyFire buffer, and we don't need to, again, copy uh, from there. We just get uh, a file descriptor and using OpenGL, we just extract the content, and we can show it. Uh, this like has a significant impact on performance. And also around this, like, this uh, time, Finally, like uh, I got in touch uh, with uh, people from Google because uh, up until then, like it was only me working on that, and it was hard to get some uh, code reviews because nobody didn't understand PyPyre, and nobody from Google didn't care until then. From that point, I have uh, like contact with uh, some Google engineers, uh, they helped me to push my changes for reviews. We have uh, like regular meetings and there is finally uh, interest from Google to make this finally uh, work properly. Uh, the last uh, change improvement or milestone was uh, published this year. Uh, it's improved improvement in mouse cursor support. Basically up until that point, every mouse cursor changed uh, 
we had to like with every single change we had to redraw the whole uh, image. Now we only track mouse cursor changes. So this is again a significant improvement. With that, uh, I had to do like lots of code restructur restructurization because before it was one one big monolith. Now I split the code for PyFire portals. And also thanks to that, uh, we can now, or there's a work in progress uh, for remote desktop support uh, in Chrome, because now they can reuse the PyPyre code. They reuse the portal code as well in some level. Uh, so that's a, another big change. And this was released in Chrome 100. And uh, before I didn't mention uh, the DMA buffer support and this, uh, Mouse cursor support is not officially released uh, with Firefox yet. This is because Firefox, uh, unlike Chromium, has some old, like older version of uh, WebRTC, so they don't do like regular releases like Chromium. So this, those two changes are not uh, officially released yet. But for example, in Fedora, uh, I backported all these changes. So if you have Fedora, uh, you have all the uh, improvements uh, which are now available in from Chromium. As for the future, uh, in, in Chromium, uh, currently uh, the valence screen sharing support is not enabled by default. It's uh, hidden behind the flag because of uh, like three major pain points. One is uh, all the code is not covered by test. Uh, by test. I now have like a review of with unit test pending in upstream, but this is blocked on uh, CI because uh, we need to get PyFire there and uh, so uh, engineers from Google or WebRTC are looking into that. Uh, another plan uh, is uh, stream restoration. If you, if you use screen sharing on Chromium recently, you know that you get like the portal dialog twice because you need it once for the uh, preview dialog, and then you need it again for the website itself. So uh, recently, Exige just a portal got this option of uh, stream restoration in the screencast portal, so we can use that and uh, get rid of the second uh, portal dialog. And with that goes the UX improvements, uh, uh, which will be improved when we get uh, rid of the second portal dialog. And also Google engineers don't like uh, that currently when you start screen sharing, you immediately get two dialogues. One is from Chrome, second is from uh, Flatpak. So they want, want some better UX improvements. And hopefully all these changes will finally lead to uh, have this support enabled by default. In Firefox, this is already enabled by default because there are no uh, such uh, UX issues. And I think that it. I guess we have a minute for questions. 30 seconds for questions. So if you have any question. Applause. Thank you.